Hello everyone, Greg Ross. Rat trapping tips on the 24th of March, 2023. So I'm back in my workshop here on Canada's west coast after going out and about to do a bit of business and I was not, I was not going to check any rat traps today. But as usual, when I'm out and about doing business around the community, I'm always, always passing places where my rat traps are set. And today I pass the gas station and I get a lot of rats from behind the gas station, the Blackberry there. And I have been expecting a rat there because there's signs that a rat was around uh, the previous trap there and set it off and somehow didn't get caught or got out of it or whatever. So I have been expecting to get a rat there, and I've been checking that trap for the last few days. I wasn't going to check it today, and I was going by, and I just thought, ah, I will check it, because my gut feeling is there might be a rat in there. And sure enough, that's, that's what was in there. Big female. She's a hybrid. You can see she's, uh, her stomach is not white, like a pure brown rat. A pure Norway rat has a white, white stomach like this newspaper. Um, and a black rat has a very dark, very dark charcoal stomach, but this guy's got a gray stomach, gray, and, uh, and the back is brown, like a brown rat, like a Norway rat, so it's actually a female, and she was nicely spiked on a couple of the spikes, so, um, follow your instincts when you're, when you're trapping rats, sometimes you follow a, a gut feeling and it can pay off. And uh, whenever I'm going past places where my traps are, um, even though I've checked them the day before, if I have the slightest gut feeling there could be something in that trap, I'll go and check it. And usually there is. Um, usually there is. So trust your guts, your gut feelings on these things. And that's a nice rat to catch. We don't want that on the property. She's a female. She's probably pregnant. It's springtime. This is when they breed up. Um, and we often get a surge of rats here in the spring and so far the spring's been pretty warm So good to get her out of the way. Yeah, while I'm on the On the video. I just want to go over one thing here uh, baiting your trap okay, so uh, Most people don't put enough bait on the trap You want to put enough bait on the trap to actually attract the rat from afar so he can smell it the more peanut butter you put on the further away you can smell it from so you want to put a lot of peanut butter on and you should expect to catch your rats within the f usually usually within the first few nights of baiting a trap because the bait, bait's nice and fresh. So you can see I've got a brand new um, bait pad crimped in there onto the bait plate. Just a piece of towel and I crimped it on there and uh, so that's the previous the previous pad was chewed down like that one. So rats have gradually chewed that pad down over a few months, and I'm going to replace that pad. It's a bit worn, and uh, that pad's just about all gone. So you got to replace these pads as soon as they look look to be worn. Replace them because the, the peanut butter soaks up into that cloth, and the rats pull at it, and that's what catches them. Um, if you don't do that, your your catch rate is is not going to be anywhere near as high as if you put the pad in. Or if you're using bacon or meat or cheese or whatever, make sure you tie it to the bait plate securely with lots and lots of loops of thread. See, this is these are my two critical rules, the two most important rules. All these modifications help a little bit, but by securing the bait to the bait plate of the tra rat rat trap, uh, it's not going to help a little bit, it's going to help a hell of a lot, like 50% more rats get caught if you've got your bait secured to the bait plate properly, or in this case, you've got a bait pad and it's soaked with peanut butter. If you just put the peanut butter on top of the, the bait plate, 50% uh, of the time they'll come along, lick it off, and go away scot-free, uninjured. So, whatever bait you use, make sure that they have to fight to get it off the bait plate otherwise you're not going to catch those rats you're going to be you're going to give up you're going to catch a few but in the end they're going to win the war so make sure that even if you only do one modification to your trap make sure it's putting the bait plate um, pad on put a pad on if you're going to use peanut butter and I find peanut butter is 
by far the best bait. And this peanut butter is mixed in with lots of cinnamon. They love cinnamon, they love peanut butter. Put the two together and you're gonna catch the rat. This is the result you get. Whoop, the camera fell over. So put peanut butter and cinnamon together on the trap and this is what's gonna happen 99.555% of the time. You're gonna catch the damn thing. Okay, so always put plenty of bait on your trap and work it into the pad and put a bit around the around the area, act as ground bait to attract them in. And they lick this they lick this stuff first at the front. They lick it first, it's good. Oh, nothing bad happens, they think. They lose a bit of wariness. Nothing bad happened, they got all this bait. Cool. So they hit that with a bit of quite a bit of enthusiasm. Okay. So, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for supporting me with, uh, with the Rat Trapper's Handbook. You can buy the book off from Amazon, only from Amazon, and that's available as a Kindle ebook. And as of about, uh, as of about nine months ago, it's available as a paperback book, a paper book. You want that to happen when you're dealing with rats as quickly as possible. Dead, finished, kaput. Okay, good trapping everyone.